Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Finding Hill. We're currently in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm on speaking tour right now, about to perform in this building in about five minutes. The sad thing is this week, I've got two events in Arizona and Heli Expo is taking place in California. I was gonna completely miss this event and I was so sad because for the first time ever, Jason Hill and the two HX50s are on display in the USA. They have shipped them over to the United States. Two of my dear friends that are both HX50 owners, they heard about this whole debacle and they called me up, they said, listen, Clint, you are going to Heli Expo. And I said, you guys, I, I can't, logistically it doesn't work. They said, Clint, we have a private plane, we are gonna fly in, we're gonna pick you up, you are experiencing Heli Expo for your very first time. It is going down, I cannot wait, I've gotta go perform, and then we're taking you and me to Heli Expo. Thank you. We just wrapped up the performance. It was awesome. I'm super tired, but the adventure is just beginning because we're gonna go catch a flight and go to Heli Expo. And then we'll just head to the Scottsdale Airport. Just, just two. All right, we made it to the Scottsdale Airport. The plane has arrived, and we're on our way to Anaheim, California. Courtesy of the best linemen ever. What's up? Dude, this is so awesome. Oh, man. Thank you. So you became the first person I've ever subscribed to on YouTube. <laughs> We made it to the Scottsdale Airport, and I have to introduce you to the two homies that made this whole trip possible. This is Mike Rollins and Zach Barber. They literally flew in. They are picking me up. We are flying to Anaheim, and we're going to Heli Expo. Dude. These guys are going to experience the HX50 for the first time ever, yeah. and we're going to just experience Heli Expo for the first time ever. Yeah, yeah we bought a couple of helicopters we've never even seen, and <laughs> Hill looks amazing, but literally we we bought them because of Clint's videos. Yeah. And so right. anyway, it's uh, this is going to be a cool trip and it's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to California. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. All right. So we've had the plane for a year. My wife named her Tina because <laughs> it's simply the best, right? Tina, Tina Turner. Turner. Yep. yep. We like Epic because they're a startup, right? And we are a startup. And well, starting a business up in yeah. most industries are tough, but starting a business up in aviation. Like it's always just the same people and Epic, they went through a ton to get to where they're at. Same thing like Hill, yeah. yeah, right? People supported us, getting us up and going. And so if we can support people like Epic and Hill to help them get going as well, like that's a, that's a cool feeling. Okay, so we're all fueled up and we've got this amazing airplane and we're headed out. You can come if you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see, hey. Oh, look at you guys. Yeah. 
Look at this. This is this traveling in style. These guys know what they're doing. Only the best for you. Oh my gosh. Well, there we go. Has the airport been busy this week? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's been, I'm, I'm sure it's always busy. The last few days it's been busy because we have a helicopter expo. Ah, oh, everybody's flying in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it has been a crazy wild day. I'm tired, we made it to Anaheim. Tomorrow is Heli Expo for the first time ever. I'm gonna get some sleep and we'll see you in the morning. morning it's day number two heli expo here we come fantastic timing we got ready to do this yeah, i got a shirt i'm ready to go i love it Okay, so the exhibit hall just opened and the very first company we are going to see is obviously Hill Helicopters. Let's go. Okay, so they're straight in the very back on the right side. So you guys cool if we just walk straight, straight there? Okay. We'll look at faces we walk by. You can see at the expo, the HX50 is literally stealing the show. Everybody is here, everybody wants to see this machine. Let's go sit in it, let's go check it out. Back in the cockpit, it literally feels like home. This never gets old. Isn't this awesome? Isn't this awesome? It's so cool. It's beautiful inside and out. So cool to see the hill here. Everyone's asking a lot of questions, really getting involved, sitting in the machine. The HX50, such an epic vibe around it. And I think the, the vibe attracts the tribe, so it'll be a great one. Pilot Yellow, Misha, Heli Expo, it's happening. It is happening, I know. Well, you know, it's an amazing machine. I've been following the program for at least two years. We live in Baja, we own two helicopters but I see that it will be the new one. He wants this so bad, he doesn't, can't sleep at night. <laughs> I think it's going to change the industry. It's everything you've uh, expected, everything that uh, Dr. Hill has promised, it's, it's taking shape. Just the innovation, the sleekness and speed, and it's uh, pretty sexy. Can't wait to get in the air. It's a very sexy helicopter. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I've never seen it in person. I've seen a lot of the videos and uh, flew out from Dallas to see it actually in person. I, I got one on order. I put a deposit down. I'm not getting paid for this, but the appearance, if you see it in real life, wow, it's in real life like way better than if you see it on all the pictures and YouTube. I think it's pretty innovative and the uh, performers are expecting to get out of it. If they are, it's going to be pretty neat. And I uh, look forward to seeing it fly. It's pretty cool. Found Famous Dave. Everybody knows Dave. And Dave is rocking the new Hill shorts. Look at these, Dave. You, you beast of a man. Look at those, rocking the Hill shorts. There are two pair in existence right now. He's, uh, there's only two. And they're both mine. There you go. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. It's honestly wild. Yeah, I like it a lot. I came here to the Heli Expo all the way from Germany, and already after the first few minutes, my vocabulary uh, seems to come to an end because I don't have enough adjectives to describe it. Um, I think it's great, and I cannot stop looking at it. 
<laughs> when I got into aviation in 1980, Frank Robinson was just bringing out the R22 model there, and I'm sure there were a lot of people saying, you know, this guy's crazy, it's never going to happen, and here we are 40 some odd years later there, and so there's room for innovation, and uh, you know, it just takes an innovator to find that room. I went to one of the seminars, and basically within two weeks I put the money down and bought one. This is what I was expecting as a kid from an early age. We're buying a ticket, a front row seat, to see one of the biggest industrial changes in the world, as far as aviation goes. I'm number 24. The number 478. I'm the 288 owner of Hill Helicopter, HX-18. Yeah, the helicopter itself is just amazing. I, I just felt like this is just something you need to do, and we'll figure out how to solve financial problems afterwards, so I just ordered one. That's bad. What's going on, you guys? I found Halsey. If you do not know Halsey, you have to know Halsey. This is the host of the Helicopter Podcast, and I literally, Halsey, I have listened to the Helicopter Podcast since day one. I have not missed an episode, and the show is amazing. If you love helicopters, if you love aviation, and if you just love good stories, the Helicopter Podcast is where it's at. He just did an episode with Jason Hill, How's the response been from that episode? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been incredible. You know, Hill is doing something that the industry needs. Yeah. Uh, innovation, you know, moving forward, pressing the boundaries, disrupting. Yeah. And I think that's really resonated with my audience. Mm -hmm. Everything that Hill is doing, uh, the vertical integration of how they're building this aircraft, not just the HX, but also the HC, yeah. is really incredible. So I'm just grateful that Jason gave me that airtime. And uh, man, I'm rooting for Hill. I think it's super cool. It's amazing. This has totally kind of been like the hit of the show. I mean, it has been absolutely packed since it arrived. It's a, it's a busy booth. It is. If you haven't checked out the podcast, check out the podcast. Halsey's amazing. Helicopter podcast is where it's at. I just appreciate you, Halsey. Hey, man, thank Thanks you for so taking much. the time. See you guys. Thanks. So I could not leave HII without coming and checking out Merit Apparel. And Michelle handles all the customer <laughs> service. She does the social media. She knows everything about helicopter helmets. <laughs> so we offer the MSA Galley helmets. They are known to be the lightest helmet in the industry and the smallest profile helmet in the industry. We customize it completely, as you can see with a customized paint job. We custom fit, we guarantee our fit, we can customize your communications in there and of course support you through the process of any overhauls, refurbs. Galley is definitely your longest lasting shell in the industry as well, so it's a one and done when you purchase it. Their service has been amazing, the product is amazing. MSA, Galley, Merit Apparel, this is where you need your helmet. <laughs> So Rob at Merit Apparel is literally like the godfather of helmets. That's what I call you, Rob. <laughs> the godfather of helicopter helmets. Nobody knows more about helicopter helmets than Rob at Merit Apparel. I brought my helmet to the expo just to get it tweaked and get it tuned up a little bit. Rob always delivers first class service and so we're taking care of the helmet. Hey everybody, what's going on? I found the guy, the legend, the reason why so many people are here at the expo. My good friend, Jason Hill. How's the expo been so far? Fantastic. We've had lots of, uh, lots of visitors by the booth, lots of attention. Everybody's really positive. Everybody loves the machine. Lots of jaw droppers, lots of open mouths. So yeah, it seems to have gone down pretty well. I can, without a doubt, say that this has been the crown jewel of the entire expo. I mean, everybody is coming to see you. They're coming to see the helicopter. Everybody's so excited. It's completely stole the show at HAI. I mean, it's just so good to see you. He's here on US soil, which is a treat and obviously uh, something that's rare. Lag. Yeah, with jet lag, he's on two feet. So <laughs> I'm just so proud of you. Congratulations, and it's so good to see him. Thanks, Cliff. Cheers. All right, bye, you guys. Okay, we just finished Heli Expo. We had an amazing time. Everything about it was incredible. And we're running a little, we're late. Running a little late. And so we gotta go catch this plane so I can get back to Arizona. Okay, 
so we just landed we're back in Arizona like this whole concept of what aviation offers as a lifestyle is so crazy literally yesterday I was in Arizona we were in California today and now we're back in Arizona so I can go and finish my show tonight I just have to first off give a huge shout out to Zach and Mike they totally pulled this off and none of this would have been possible without them and this incredible aircraft Heli Expo was amazing. It was a first time experience for me. And it was amazing to just look at all of the aircraft, all the manufacturers, to see the industry as a whole under one roof. But most importantly, to see Hill shine in that environment and to see the crowd, the people, to look at the machine, to look at the HX50 for the first time and go, wow, like it's here. Hill Helicopters is here. This was an incredible adventure. I hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe. I can't wait until the next episode, and we'll see you soon.